All right, check out some Civil War by A24 DNA film. <clears throat> Was that the president? Some are already calling it the greatest victory in the history of military campaigns that the so-called Western forces of Texas and California. I remember reading the reviews and comments on this movie. And people couldn't believe, people couldn't believe that Texas and California would ever be uh, allies. But money will make you allies. And those two states are the richest states in the United States of America. California is the richest state by far, but Texas is, is a close second. So they would have the most to lose and maybe the most to gain. Well, I believe it's possible for them to be um, allies. I can also confirm that the Florida Alliance has failed in its attempt to force the brave people of the Carolinas into joining the insurrection. The Florida Alliance. Of resistance. Civil War. Reminds me of our 2020. Thank you so much. Was it the lady with the flag who ran towards him? Who had the like an explosion on her, like a like a vest? I got I gotta rewind that. Thank you so much. Yeah, there was her. She was carrying the original American flag. Whoa! Kind of like the Boston Marathon bombing. That's the idea. What the fuck are you talking about? Is that weed or uh, serious? a cigarette? They shoot journalists on sight in the capital. They literally see us as enemy combatants. That's a little jab at uh, you think there's a rush Trump. Because he didn't like the media. Ooh. A brick to the head. And a bullet. So she's seen some stuff. Snipers at the top of New York skyscrapers. 857 miles to DC. Long drive. Whoa. Mr. President, do you regret any actions implemented during your third term in office? In retrospect, Mr. President, do you still think it was wise to disband the FBI? Passive aggressive. Oh, man. Sir, how is your policy? Another jab at, at Trump. Strikes? Got all of the fuel permit? No, we're. we're actually the fuel passive. permit? 300 buys you a sandwich. 300 Canadian. Oh, well, Canadian money is worth more. Man. The atrocities of war. How are they? Looters. Oh. Still alive, too. I'd like to take your picture. Don't do it. It'll become evidence later. <clears throat> okay. Oh man. Over there. Yeah. You need to understand. Oh <sighs> lord. Backseat is both kindergarten and an old school. <laughs> How did this happen? I like the visuals, man. It's like a good place. It's trippy looking at that. Just pull it. If the United States of America is at war with itself wouldn't that be the perfect time for like their enemies to invade with china russia north korea even iran yeah it is we look at that they're sharing it thanks i like how they show uh Hit the the picture that they're taking. Oh man! So with the music, you gonna execute them? Yeah. Two hundred and eighty-nine miles to DC. Who's that supposed to be? 
Global yes, Relief Fund. Legendary photo of the Antifa massacre. Oh. Then. Antifa the massacre. Exposure's all wrong. Is that a real thing? Where you could run a uh, film through your phone and. Oh, yeah. Thank God for weed and alcohol, man. Especially in times like that. Uh, like a normal town. I wonder if it was like that in the uh, first Civil War. Was there area that weren't even affected? Let's check out a little trivia from IMDb. The production used full blank for the gunfire. As opposed to half or quarter blanks. Resulting in a discharge as loud as real gunfire. Alex Garland told a reporter at the premiere that the pairing of California and Texas was, in part, to obfuscate the politics, but more importantly, that these two states put aside political differences to challenge an unconstitutional, fascistic, fascistic, and corrupt president who was killing American civilians. He said, are you saying extremist politics would always remain more important than a president of this sort? That sounds crazy to me. Yeah, I like that. Okay, I'm telling you, because California and Texas are the richest states, they would have the most money. With money, you would have more military power, more military might. So you, you, go, you could go up against the United States government. I said, yeah, I like that. I thought, it was, I thought it was because of money, but no, I like the way he put it. It grossed $26 million domestically in its opening weekend, more than any other A24 film, surpassing Hereditary. Oh, I love Hereditary, man. Which made $14 million. Oh, it should have made a billion, man. should have made $100 million opening weekend. It was also the first A24 film to open at number one at the box office. Costing fifty million. This is the most expensive A twenty four film. Is it A twenty four or A two four? In May twenty twenty two, Alex Garland described the film as a companion to his twenty twenty two film Men, and said it is set at an indeterminate point in the future, just far enough ahead for me to add a conceit and serves as, as a sci-fi allegory for our currently polarized predicament. The film's American release date was April 12, 2024. The real American Civil War began exactly 163 years before that. Neither the president's name nor his political party are ever stated in the film. Many of the soldiers on either side of the conflict were played by actual former military veterans to give a sense of added realism. The budget was $50 million and the gross opening weekend, $25 million. Worldwide, it made $112 million. Good return. There they go. Not all normal. Should we keep going? Oh! Shit! Sniper. Oh! Oh, they're in a hurry, all right. He smoked his tires on the last corner. What does it mean when they, they smoke their tires like that? that? Oh, got him hostage. Oh, they got a bunch of dead bodies. Wyatt, there's one hung up in there. What is that, salt or sugar? This guy with the red glasses, man, he was all over the internet. You're going to see a few costumes on Halloween. Journalists. According to IMDb, he was uh, yeah. put in the movie at the last minute. Sir? I wonder why he chose to, to wear those red glasses. Okay. What kind of American are you? Oh, man. That was a famous line. Hey, buddy. <laughs> What's your deal? Oh, you he's so dead. Where are you from? I'm from, I'm from Hong Kong. Oh, shit. Oh, China. <laughs> oh, man. China. Oh. Get in the car. 
I think they would have heard that truck coming from a uh, farther away, a lot farther away, a lot of truck. Oh man! Oh, he got hit. Oh man, he didn't make it. Ah, Texas and California, they finally made it. Man. That looks crazy. Oh. Oh, man. BD gun. Maybe. Like right in the middle of it, man. That's a real war zone, man. In Washington, D.C. Oh. Man. What do you hear they're gonna do with it? Kill? Wow. Hey, Lee. So right there. For the secret service to still protect him. Man, he ain't going anywhere. Ah. Hey, <laughs> lighting it up. Man, no capture, no prisoner. Can the president be entrusted into your safe care? Yes, ma'am. We'll take real good care of him. Just bring him out here. We're not bringing him anywhere. <laughs> we need a guarantee of safe passage for the president. And we need extraction to a neutral territory. We request Greenland or Alaska. Nah, no terms. <laughs> Greenland or Alaska. We got him. The president is willing to... Well, Gunner, boy, there you go. Moving. Oh man, she's gonna get shot. Oh, she just wants the perfect picture. Yeah, well, she got it. She got it. Here. She's even ignoring her. She wants to want that picture of the president getting captured. I need a quote. <laughs> don't, let, don't let him kill me. Yeah. Don't do it. No, his last word. Don't let them kill me. Boom. And a black woman did it. <laughs> God bless America. All right. Look at that. They even pose with the body. I like it. I really like it. The only problem I have is that I would have liked to have seen um, like a debate. Like why are they fighting the war to begin with? I know the president is supposed to be like a fascist and he was killing innocent Americans, but I would like to see uh, like the opposite people from the opposite side talk, debate argue but besides that it was real good the pacing was good it was probably good because it was, it was only an hour and 48 minutes long if it would have been like two and a half or three whatever like they do now probably would have been a little too long and it probably would have dragged but the pacing is just right acting <clears throat> they don't give them a whole lot to work with, but still good. The music, it, it didn't make no sense sometimes. It would have been better to put some, something a little more intense instead of all upbeat and dancey, you know, but not that bad. Cinematography, top notch. Like I said, I like when they take pictures and they show what they took. Even if, you know, even if it's just briefly. So in my opinion, that president was supposed to be Donald Trump. But I like how they hit it somewhat. All right. So from one to ten, I'm going to give this movie here an eight. It's rewatchable, and I will recommend it. Catch you on the next one.